It's come on up in nurses that works in the department. I'd like to show you around and show you what E3 outpatient looks like. Okay, so if, like, if we go along the corridor down to the reception desk, and that's where patients would normally book in. You want to follow me? There's a sign that says outpatient reception desk. Okay, so if you follow the corridor down, there's a sign that says outpatient reception. If you follow it down to the reception desk, the receptionist will take some details from you. So once you've come through to the waiting room, if you make your way through to the reception desk, and one of the receptionists will take some details and confirm everything is correct and have a seat in the waiting room. So from the waiting room, one of the medical staff will call you through to begin your consultation. Hi, so I'm one of the doctors here. If it's your first visit to the clinic, uh, we'll spend some time with you going through a full medical history, examining you, talking uh, through any questions or queries you might have about your illness. Um, we'll review your medication if you're, if you're taking re regular medication. Um, you have a physical examination. Um, we may give you a prescription, after which you'll go on to meet the rest of the team. If you're attending clinic regularly, we tend to see you about every three to four months. Uh, we're monitoring your medication, making sure that your physical and emotional well-being are being looked after, and also your sexual health. Um, following the review, uh, we make sure that you're linked in with um, any of the other members of the um, health professional team who are here to look after you. After the medical consultation is over, we'll then introduce you to other members of the multidisciplinary team. The first one will probably be a clinical nurse specialist. Hello, I'm Simone. I'm one of the specialist nurses that works in clinic. I see patients for a variety of reasons, um, including when they're first diagnosed, I see them for emotional and general support. I see patients who are starting treatment and I'll go through all the different options and um, side effects with them and obviously if they have any ongoing problems with treatment I see them for that. I see patients um, regarding partner notification and disclosure to friends and family. Um, also patients have children and we will discuss how they would go about testing those children. So there's a whole variety of things that we see patients for. Um, you know, we're, we're here, they can call us, they can see us in clinic um, and if we need to make any appropriate referrals we'll, we'll refer them to social workers, psychology, dietitian. Um, and I think that just about covers it. Hello, I'm Alice. I'm the dietitian who works at the clinic on EFLOOR. Um, nutrition is often a very important um, issue for people living with HIV and um, people in the clinic have to see me for lots of different reasons. Um, usually their doctor or nurse would refer them for a particular reason to come and see me. Um, I try and assist people to follow a healthy diet um, based on their health and their lifestyle and give them individual advice that's suitable for them. I commonly see people in the clinic um, for reasons like um, those who need to lose weight, um, people who want to have some help to lower their cholesterol levels and maybe people who have been unwell and lost weight without meaning to and need to, need to regain weight. Um, so they're the most usual reasons I see people in the clinic but I'm also happy to see other people who've got questions or concerns about their diet and nutrition. As well as the healthcare professionals we've met today, we also have access to other services. First being the social workers that are from the Forge Centre. We've got clinical psychologists and also the pharmacist specialists that are here to help you. I hope you've learned a bit about what happens here at clinic. If you have any questions or we can help with anything, please do get in touch with us. Thank you.